Hi, I'm Sierra Cartwright. Today I'm reading an excerpt from On His Terms, which is book two in the Mastered series. There he is. Where? Chelsea Barton craned her head to get a look at Master Alexander Monahan. Near the fireplace, her friend Sarah said. Chelsea glanced in that direction. Dressed in blue jeans, a long-sleeved Western-style shirt, a black leather vest, a sil silver bolo tie, and a cowboy hat. He didn't fit her image of a BDSM trainer. His height, though, well over six feet tall, was definitely what she expected. Quit staring, Sarah said in a harsh whisper. A good sub doesn't behave that way. That didn't stop Chelsea. Rules were helpful for other people. As for her, she knew what she wanted, and she ruthlessly pursued it. And she wanted Master Alexander to make her into the perfect sub, or at least passable enough, so that no one noticed whether she was really into it or not. That was step one in Project Snag, Evan C. Evan C. was a rocker whose band was climbing the charts. With the right PR firm, hers, if she could sign him, he would become a household name. As a double bonus, her firm would gain some real credibility by signing Evan C. But first, she needed to snare his attention. And so far, her efforts had been a dismal failure. She'd met him at a party six months ago, and she'd developed a certifiable fangirl crush on him. And not just as a client, but also as a dom. What could be more fabulous than career success and having a sexy man to boot? Sarah, always the unwelcome pragmatist, had advised Chelsea to forget her ideas. Evan C. liked well-trained submissives, women who were perfectly subjugated in his needs to suit his. Which, as Sarah pointed out, really wasn't Chelsea. Chelsea was headstrong and determined, a driven type A personality who chewed antacid for breakfast and had rampant insomnia. She hadn't taken a vacation in over five years. That Master Evan C. discarded women like the scarves he wore while performing made her all the more resolved to be the one to win him over. And that's where Master Alexander came in. According to Sarah, he used to be a trainer and he was still very well respected. He didn't get emotionally involved with subs and he was one of the best. That he was no longer in the business didn't deter her. He's looking this way, Sarah said unnecessarily. And he's alone, finally, Chelsea replied. When she'd heard Sarah and her dom had been invited to Master Alexander's birthday party at the Den, Master Damien's luxury mountain retreat, Chelsea had begged, pleaded, and cajoled for an invitation. At first, Sarah had refused. She hadn't wanted to be part of any more of Chelsea's schemes. While Chelsea didn't blame her friend, after all, their last escapade had earned Sarah a severe punishment beating from her dom, Chelsea was still set on her course. If you'll excuse me. Remember, you promised not to use my name, Sarah said. You don't know me. She looked at her friend and said, have we been introduced? I love you too, girlfriend. After setting her shoulders, Chelsea headed straight for Master Alexander. A couple stopped to talk to him. With a sigh, she paused to grab a glass of wine from a passing server. She was woman enough to appreciate the hottie. He wore a bow tie, but no shirt. He could have been poured into that pair of dress slacks. He bowed and said, enjoy your evening, madame. Maybe she'd hire this crew for her next event. It would certainly be a shocker, get her some much appreciated press. Rather than taking a drink, she rolled the glass between her palms and waited. Finally, the couple moved off. She put down the drink, pulled back her shoulders, and began to move toward him. Damn, that cowboy hat made him look just like an outlaw. He rested his forearm on the mantelpiece as she approached. Even from several feet away, he exuded power. Chelsea was weaned on bravado, and she had to call on all of that to keep moving forward when she became aware of the way he watched her. His focus was intent, purposeful, and he casually glanced from the toes of her pumps to the top of her shiny clips that she had placed in her short hair. He didn't greet her. Instead, he waited. That didn't surprise her. She'd done plenty of research on him. He hadn't gotten where he was in the financial world by rushing to judgment. 
Mr. Monahan, I'm Chelsea Barton. She extended her hand and gave him the most dazzling dentist whitened smile possible. She could charm anyone with that. I wish to wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you. Finally, he dropped his arm and accepted her hand. His grip was warm, firm, reassuring. Electricity all but danced up her spine. This close, he was gorgeous. Small lines were etched next to his eyes and his lips were firm and full. The crazy notion of kissing him skipped through her mind before she ruthlessly shoved it away. She had a business proposition for him, nothing more. He released her. Who are you here with? I came with a friend, she hedged. Are you always so evasive? Are you always so direct? He folded his arms across his chest. Save us both some time, Ms. Barton. Let's cut through the bullshit. It's my birthday, my party. I approved the guest list. I saw you speaking with Sarah, and I've met everyone else whose date I didn't know, so I assume Sarah invited you. And since she didn't introduce you and is pretending not to see you talking to me, I assume you wanted to meet me for a specific reason. A lot of people, I take it, want to meet you. I don't play games. You've got 30 seconds.